Hey, what's going on, YouTube? The Beardy Baron here, bringing you guys another Phasmophobia video. In today's video, we're going to be doing another new player guide, and it's going to be on the Brownstone High School map. Now, this one should be very informative for those of you who are having a hard time on this map, or if you just don't know how to navigate it very well. So if you like this video, please give it a like, share it with a friend. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay. So we need to prevent a hum with a crucifix, blow with a candle, and a motion sensor. All right, got that. Uh, so I'm going to bring in my three starter items here, right? We got our flashlight, we got our camera, and we got our EMF reader. Because that's my go-to, my, my three items I'm going to primarily bring in every single time. The flashlight is a situational kind of thing. You don't have to. Right? If you're comfortable enough with it, you can definitely bring in just like a video camera and that would honestly help you out more. But so that way you guys can see the map better. And because most of the time I navigate around in the dark, I like to bring in the flashlight. SMA Panda, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Bearded Baron crew. So all of your cursed objects are going to be right up here at the front. Chat, everybody is not new here. See, and then you just get the ghost to just immediately give you some kind of uh, indicator of where it is. What do we have? Is it music box? It's probably going to be music box. Nope, it's tarot cards because this game hates me. Hello there, Tyra. There it is. Okay, so now we know that the we know that the ghost is over that way. So let's assume, let's play pretend here real quick. And let's say that we didn't, right? We didn't know. We didn't just hear it interact because that's honestly, it's very lucky that that happened. He needs some milk. So what I'd like to bring in is I'd like to bring in the parabolic mics, right? And these are really good for finding the ghost room uh, on larger maps. Right, and I'll show you how. So even without using the curse object, right, what we would do is, is you're going to kind of point the parabolic mic into each one of the rooms. And what we're looking for is a fluctuation of like, you're looking for like a 0 0.2, a 0 0.5, 0 0.7, you know, 0.8, whatever. It's something just like a point and then a number, but you want it to stay consistent. Right? So we just kind of go down this line. So we kind of go down the line here, right? And you just kind of kind of keep scoping. See how we got a we got a one over there? So that might have been like an object thrown or something. Uh, I got the power over here. So we're going to turn on the power. It's not unlimited. Not like Mondas, but we do have the power. So let's turn on this light. Right? So same thing, right? We're pointing at the classrooms. I do think it's probably over here on this side someplace. Yeah, we're getting now we're getting like a 2.4, right? So then when that when that event goes away, then what we should get here is we should get um, like a point something. Notice me, senpai. Notice me. Notice me. All right, where are we at here? Well, so we got the point, you know, we got the point seven, but that's because we're getting, we're starting to get parabolic activity. But see, as you can tell, right? <clears throat> see how this is staying the same? We're going to point 0.7. Then it didn't go away. It stayed for, for a considerable amount of time. So we can pretty much... We can pretty much say that, yep, this is the ghost room. You'd make a great teacher. I'd, nev I'd never be a teacher. Never. Never. Parabolic. <coughs> Parabolic, Mike. Five ads. Twitch doesn't want me to get educated. That's on Twitch. They sent me a. They sent me an ad revenue thing. They said I would have to show you guys. So for four minutes worth of ads every hour, uh, I would get like two hundred and like thirty dollars or something like that. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm I'm good, thanks. It was pretty rough. So now that we know the ghost room is right. What you want to do here, especially on larger maps, is you want to keep an eye on your average sanity, right? And you also want to make sure that you're in and out in the most efficient way as possible. 
because a lot of your sanity is going to be dropping as you're taking gear in and out. So you don't want to dilly dolly too long. We're just going to grab some more stuff. I'm going to grab the dots and the the book here with uh, the video camera. And you're going to notice I'm not even going to go in through the main room. We're going to come over here on this side because we know that we know that the ghost is over here on this side, this wing, on the right wing. So I'm not losing any sanity by walking from the end, from the middle, and then walking over here. Right? We only lose sanity when we're inside the house or inside the school. No, it's still working, Trashy Attacker. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're in, right? So we can look, we can see. I can already tell on the on the uh, the monitor there. You can see. Um, let's see if I can get it there. No, I can't. If we take it and put it on this one, right there in the center of the screen, you can see we've got an orb, right? So that's our first piece of evidence. We got orbs. Now that immediately tells me that it could also be a mimic because mimics give off uh, fake evidence, and one of those or the fake evidence is orbs. So we got to keep that in mind. We're gonna put down the dots. <coughs> And then I'm also going to put the ghostwriting book right next to the dots. The reason why I do that is, is because sometimes when you go back out to the van, you can actually see the ghost right in the book with the, you know, with the camera. So if you can get into the habit of angling your angling the book towards the camera or where you can easily see it, then maybe if you're playing with friends and you got one person that likes to stay in the van, they would be able to see like, oh, hey, it's writing. So then you would be able to tell. The other reason why I like to bring in the ghost writing as a second thing is because sometimes it takes the ghost a long while to write in the book. So the longer that it's in there, the longer that the ghost can interact with it. So now we're going to cycle through. All right, there's that orb again. So we're also just going to take a look here and see if we see there's the orb. Right, in case you guys have never seen that, that's what it looks like. Now, the difference between orbs and snow is that orbs will always end up cycling up, right? So this one, it dips down, and then it'll kind of, it'll go, whoop, and it'll go right back up. See that? So that's something to look out for. <coughs> Especially if you're on an outside map, or if you are, uh, if the weather outside was snowing, and, um, you know, if it was snowing and you were looking... You know, outside. Ooh, then there's dots, too. So it is a child ghost model. I don't know if you guys saw that. It was a little girl that ran across the screen. That's what dots looks like. So we've got dots and we've got orbs. Oh, thank you, Ella. Sorry. So from there, all right, dots and orbs, Banshee, Yuri, Yokai, Raiju, or a Thay. Right, Raijus and Thays, they're going to be definitely much faster during the uh, during the hunts. Yuri's and Yokai's are kind of annoying, to be honest, to go against. And then Banshee is, uh, is you can figure it out. Um, figure it out with the uh, the parabolic mic, if you were playing on Nightmare Mode. But because we're doing this on Professional, we can actually see this. Hello there, just Nicole. Yeah, if you guys type in exclamation point ticket max, it will take all of your tickets. Or it will it will punch all of your tickets. So during the month, uh, during this month, right up until the 30th or until the, the last day of the month, um, we're doing a viewer reward. So for this month, we're doing Apple AirPods. So if you have, all you got to do is type in exclamation point ticket max. As you watch the channel, the more time that you watch the channel, the more tickets that you earn, the more tickets or the more points you earn, the more those points turn into tickets, the more tickets you get, the more chances you have to win. And it's just my way of thanking folks for, for hanging out and watching the channel. Oh, well, yeah. All right. So, now the, the high school map is really bad in the sense of not giving you a whole lot to interact with. <coughs> All right. Um, you know, so even though it looks like there, even though it looks like there might be a lot of stuff in here, there's not actually a whole lot that the ghost can interact with because if you think about it, there's not a, a, all of these books are bolted down, right? Um, pretty much all you have is these windows, the door. Some classrooms don't even have a door, and then the um, uh, the phone. 
So let's try this. Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? So I don't know if you just saw her run right through there, but she ran right through there again. We got EMF three. I was seeing if we got an EMF five by chance, but it doesn't look like we did. Okay. Mm, let me move that. That's in the floor. <sighs> Miss Killen, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Beauty Baron crew. So again, Brett, we're back out. We're keeping an eye on insanity. We haven't had any kind of ghost events yet. Um, we're still waiting on this last piece of evidence. <coughs> My preteen son thinks that he's old enough to play fast despite us saying otherwise. Any words of advice for him? I mean, girls, girls, um, like for him playing the game? I would definitely say to to learn to listen, right? Like having a good headset and 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 really listening because the ghost will will interact with its environment, right? It'll throw something, it'll open up a door, shut a door, tap on a window, right? And then uh, so it's very easy to miss those things if you're not listening properly. So like most of the time when I'm playing Phasmo, I'm not. There's nothing else that's really happening, right? Like I have just you know my headset and it's kind of cranked up so that it's easy to hear what days am i streaming sunday monday wednesdays and thursdays and i put out uh youtube shorts and tiktoks every single day and long form content on youtube every other day <coughs> so and we do have cards this time we thought he'd be too terrified i mean i was uh, i was a bit terrified when i first started playing i'll, I'll be honest Okay, um, now we can get, so let's see here. Let's take in, what are our secondary objectives? Crucifix, candle, and emotion sensor. Okay, let's bring in this, uh, and we'll bring in a crucifix because I won't be able to bring in a lit candle right now, but I do want to get some photos. No, you did not miss it, Nightbane, not yet. My three-year-old fights me for my game sometimes. I mean, like, it's it's completely dependent. I've seen adults that are absolutely terrified of playing Phasmophobia, and I've seen, you know, kids that are totally fine with playing it. So. <coughs> so now that we're still waiting, right? Because, like, one of the things that it could be, and it is, look at that. So it's kind of hard to tell right there. <clears throat> but we're going to turn on the power so that way you guys can see this. But see, we got ghost writing. Now, the beautiful thing about the ghost writing is, is if you hear the ghost actually write in the book, um, and you can get it while it's writing, then you can get two photos out of it. Oh, yeah? And and Hyper Bishop four thirty four, or three forty three. Sorry. <clears throat> Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Bearded Baron Crew. So it is a Thay. It is a, it is a child Thay. And Jello Pudding, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in. Um, but if not, you can always come back over here and you can still take a photo of it. Uh, and Drowsy Clouds, thank you for the five month resub, buddy. I appreciate you. Okay, here's the footsteps. All right. Now there was three photos there, which means we should have. We got four photos left that we can take. Unfortunately, I left the photo, I left the uh, the camera back over here at the entrance. So we're going to make our way back over there. <coughs> right. Power is still on, too. Now, the interesting thing about a Thay is, is that Thays early on are very fast. Right? They're a very fast ghost. Um, and they're a very consistent speed ghost. But the longer that you spend inside the ghost room, the slower the, the Thay will become. And the less the interactive the Thay will become. 
So if you stay there for too long, if you notice it, it's, it seems like it's very active. It's doing a lot of stuff. And then as the match progresses, it's it's slowing down. Uh, I mean, it, they'll slow down so far. Uh, they'll, they'll age so much to where you can actually outrun them just not just by walking. But right, but then in the beginning, it'll actually it'll move super fast. Um, so that's that's a kind of a big indicator for it. <clears throat> Uh, no, Trail Twin, they will not. <coughs> Whew. So now that I came back over here, right, we missed it stepping in this salt pile, but I can still take a, f I can still take a photo of that salt pile. Right? Do I get counted for all the footsteps? No. <clears throat> Do we still get the other one? Yes. Right? So now at this point in time, you could just simply, you could just leave, to be honest. You could if you wanted to. Right, you figured out the ghost. Ooh, let's get this. See if I can get back in time. Right, we can pick up an interaction here. Right, so as long as the EMF is going off when you take a photo, you'll get interaction. All right, so we'll leave that. <coughs> so there's nothing wrong with just figuring out what the ghost is and then just leaving. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Right? Um, you know, it's only if you're wanting to do the secondary objectives, if you feel comfortable enough doing it, if you have the sanity pills and the sanity for it, right? Because a lot of stuff, it can be it can be very daunting. It can be much harder for you to be able to pull that off. So now we're going to come back over here. We're going to pick up some stuff. I'm going to play with the terror cards so that way I can showcase the terror cards. Now, no full well. The terror cards are my least favorite thing I like to play with in Phasmophobia. As far as, far as the cursed objects are concerned, because there is a chance that the that they can kill you uh, the tarot cards themselves can kill you so so someone share the video that you made of the easter eggs easter eggs and phasma on reddit today oh nice i should make another updated video right i'm curious if there's any um any new stuff on the like Camp Woodwind and the new, I mean, the, the new Sunny Meadows, yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, you can step in and out of the school. I mean, like, you can do that. You know, you can jump back and forth if you wanted to do it. I mean, there's definitely, there's ways of being able to cheese it for sure. Did we find the bone? No. Most of the time on these large maps, unless I get a Ouija board... It, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to do it. You're putting yourself... I mean, like, we could walk through here for the next 15 minutes and not find anything. You know what I mean? Graveyard Medic, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Bearded Baron crew. Here's one thing, though. I will show you this real quick. One thing that a lot of people don't ever explore is, like, what's back here? <clears throat> Some of you might not actually know, but um, if memory serves... It's either this one... Yeah, here it is. I feel like it gets so under unutilized. Whoa, oh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Whoa! What's up, Meowsers? But there's actually an outside uh, basketball court back here. So most people never actually come back here out back in the back. And there's a whole area back in the back of the... Um, uh, of the uh, the prison map too. Yeah, most most people never day never take the the time to actually look, but yeah, it's back there. Same. Yeah, the whole back section. No, the ghost can never be back here. That's why I don't think that anybody know, really knows that that's back there. Right? Like nobody nobody really bothers to like really explore the maps. I don't see how those balls can still bounce. Hey, listen, like just because the balls are old doesn't mean that they're not as bouncy, okay? Some some balls last for a very much longer time. You just never know. <coughs> I've never known that about the back part of the prison. Yeah, it's like a whole like outdoor like wreck area. I would love it if the ghost could make its way back out there, right? Like, hey, it's all the way out in the back, like a worst case scenario. Okay, so. Now whether we got this, right? I will show you guys the tarot cards as they uh, as they pop up. They're 10 cards, they're random. 
right? Some have uh, more chances of things happening versus others. So we're just going to try it out. See what we get. Yeah, like I've never gotten I've never gotten a ghost in the courtyard of uh, Sunny Meadows. I'd love to get one like outside. So please let's hope that it doesn't kill me because that'd be a really bad way to end this video. All right, Wheel of Fortune will either be green or red. <coughs> so your sanity goes up or down based off of that. Um, and Meowsers, thank you for the 17 months, by the way. I appreciate it. Right? So, um, so because it went red, that means her sanity dropped by 25%. All right? Death card means that it would start a hunt, right? Which is why I'm all the way back over here where we know where the ghost room is. The fool card, though, basically can be anything. Now, it is still hunting us now. So we're going to see how fast this ghost is. There is kind of one cheese spot left on this map. And it's over here. Right? Here she comes down the hallway. Oh, look at her. Look at her go. Right? So if you want to smudge through a ghost, right? You look at it, right click, and you can smudge right through them. Right? And then underneath this fallen bookshelf right here, even with this light on, even when she knows, right, and she's going to double back over here, um, she won't be able to get me in this spot. Now, depending on when you watch this, the developers, they know about this spot. They are going to be working on probably removing this. I think they're kind of holding off on the high school because I, I feel like the high school is going to kind of be next on the chopping block, but we'll see. No, it was not naked in a thing. Kiss CRN86. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Beard of Baron crew. <clears throat> okay now if we don't know where the ghost is right like let's say that the ghost hunts but you don't know where necessarily where the ghost is at or the hunt is over with if the lights turn off you know that uh the hunt's over tower card means it's an interaction devil card means a ghost um here comes the uh, the ball of the ball the hiss ball which it didn't make it that far but uh, that's a uh, a ghost event the hangman card instantly kills you it instantly kills you I thought I was dead oh that's why I hate using them oh gosh okay so wheel of fortune green our sanity went up by 15 or 25 percent Another devil card, right? So it would have been another ghost event. Now, if you pull these cards during a hunt, every card will come up as a fool card. So you don't want to pull these during a hunt. All right? Get another hiss. Somewhere. I guess it's so far away from where we're at. It's just not able to reach us. The devil card is the, uh, the ghost events. So there's our right so there's kind of the mixed bag of what you can get now you can also pull a card called the high priestess card and a hermit card which we did not see a hermit card basically like it locks it in its room it's not going to keep it really from hunting but it'll lock it in its room kind of for a few seconds kind of a waste to be perfectly honest and then the high priestess card now the high priestess card is very important because the high priestess is the, the exact opposite of the hangman card so if the hangman card kills you instantly, the high priestess card gives you an extra life, or if you have a teammate that's dead, then it will also give you a, um, <clears throat> it will also revive your teammate. I mean, the hermit is kind of like the smudge, but it doesn't last for very long at all. Like it, it only lasts for like a few seconds. It's kind of like a, eh. So we got one last thing here. We got to do the crucifix. Now we know that it's down, right? We're down in the threshold for it to hunt. We know that. Um, now what we can do here, is, so we're at 36. I could take another sanity pill to get myself up over it just high enough to where we could get the ghost to, um, like it would take a little bit for our sanity to, to wind down for it to try to hunt us again. <coughs> But because I got the smudge and because I'm familiar with, with everything, I'm okay to not. 
right? I'm just hoping that it doesn't quite try to hunt me as soon as I open up the door, but we'll find out. Now, if you don't know, right, if you're in a spot and you don't, let's say that the, all the power's off and you never actually got to turn on the light, and how do you can tell that the ghost hunt is over with, especially on a larger map, is, uh, oh, we got the crucifix. Nice. Let's go. It ate a piece. Um, you can still click the light switch, and if the light switch flicks back and forth, then the, then the hunt is over with. Crucifixes can be placed, right? They have a radius now, so you can actually see their effective radius. So if you hold down your your the place, uh, for me it's F on my keyboard. So if you place that down, you can actually see the radius, and then uh, that way you know exactly where to place it. But so we've got a Thay. All right, we got two more photos that we could go with here. Can we get something quick? Oh, I can take a picture of the crucifix. Right, that's one photo for sure. And it stepped in this last bit of salt. So that should be our last two. And then we're good to go. Thaler Swift. <laughs> Can you say what each ghost hunts at, please? I mean, most ghosts are going to hunt you at 50% sanity or less. There are some exceptions to that. Um, mimics can hunt you at a higher sanity depending on like which ghost that they take over or they they try to mimic demons can hunt you at a higher sanity um yokais i mean demons can hunt you at pretty much any sanity yokais can hunt you at a higher sanity onrios can hunt you at a higher sanity um oh gosh what else am i thinking yeah i mean for the most part <clears throat> your biggest concern is that it's going to be a uh that it's gonna be a demon. Yo, Ghost Rider, coming in here with a raiding party of five. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, let me finish this up real quick because we just finished. But guys, if you found this video informative, please give it a like, share it with a friend. And if you made it all this way, please consider subscribing as well. I hope everybody found this video informative, and I'll see you guys next time.